This is the Speak and Rugged Armor case for the Apple Earpods Pro 2. In this video, I'll be doing an unboxing, a setup, a real life test of the Speak and Rugged Armor case. Timestamps and links to everything that I talk about in this video will be in the description. So if you see something that sparks your interest, then feel free to check it out. Alright, guys, let's get right into the unboxing experience. The box that it comes in has a very premium feel to it. You can tell that Spigen really put a lot of time and effort into designing the box for this case. On the front of the box it says Spigen Rugged Armor for the AirPods Pro 2nd Gen. It also tells you what you will be getting in the box which is one case and one carabiner. On the back of the box it tells you that this case has a hair cushion and a hybrid polymer technology. Under that it gives you some information about copyrights and their contact information if you have any questions or concern about this product. Then after that it tells you the dimension of the case which is 2.92 inches by 2 inches by 1.06 inch which if you look at the dimension for the Apple Earpods Pro 2 you'll see that it will be a very tight fit so your case will not slip off your Apple Earpods Pro 2. On the left side of the box it has a Spigen name and logo and on the right side of the box it has a liquor recycling information for when you are done with this box because you know we have to keep our environment safe. Finally on the bottom of the box you have the manufacturer date where the case was made. You also have some numbers and some barcodes on the bottom along with the color of the cage which is matte black. Now let's open the box. To open the box Spigen has this tab which makes your life so much easier to open the box. Thanks Spigen. Inside the box you are greeted with the top of the case in a clear plastic bag. After that you are greeted with the next plastic bag which has the carabiner and a small card. Which is just a card showing off speed and chargers. Finally you are greeted with the bottom of the case. And that is it. Now let's take a closer look at what we have here. The top part of the case feels like a hard rubber. On top of it is rugged and on the side it has a nice carbon fiber finish. For the bottom part of the case it also has a hard rubber which is rugged on the sides with a little carbon fiber finish at the back and the front. You can also see that they have cut out for the light indicator, the lanyard, the charging port, the speaker and also the speaker vent hole. On the back you have the button shape out for the button on the case. The carabiner feels really good and durable. It doesn't feel cheap at all. To put this case on on your earpods pro 2. It is pretty simple. I would advise you that you take out your earpods out of the case first so you have more room to put the case in the right way. After doing that just take the top part and gently push it onto the top part of the earpods pro 2 case. Once it's on all the way take the bottom part of the case and push it gently until it's all the way and make sure all the cutouts are lined up in the correct position. For the carabiner just simply open it and push one side through the hole and you should be all set with putting on the case. Now go ahead and put back your ear pods in the case. Now for the real life test. First we're gonna do a drop test. Before we do that I just want to show you guys that I already scratched my case because I dropped it a couple times already before I got this case. So yeah I really needed this case. Alright now for the drop test. I'm going to drop this from about 6 feet onto a hard tile flooring. Alright guys, so I just did a drop test and as you can see, the top part fell off. And even though the top part fell off, at least the top part was the part that got hit first. So the major impact was hit by the case and not by the actual AirPods case. So even though it drops off, it is still a good protection guys. But I was expecting it to be on but as I said this is hard tile right here so it is kind of expected that at least one of these will be jumping off or something. If you drop it on a carpet or a grass or a much softer surface it wouldn't have done that damage but I'm pretty surprised that the bottom part stays on. But as you can see <laughs> my ear pods fell out which is not really good because Imagine these dropping out and going inside a manhole or something that would be a Pretty much nightmare, but that's the honest drop test right there guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section But just to clear up something guys overall the case is on this really tight like 
it is on there tight like it won't fall off by just shaking it or it just won't fall off randomly but as i said that was a really big impact so it had to fell off it did it best i believe but clearly you can see my ear pod is really intact no scratches otherwise from the scratching that was existing before but that's pretty much it like no dents not even the case have a dent on it even though it took that impact so yeah good job speaking i also want to test the car binder i really like the fact that speaking include this because they didn't have to include this in the case because the apple earpods pro 2 case already has a lanyard loop the carabiner is easy to use and you can hook it on your bag on your pants or anywhere you can think you can hook something and you don't have to worry about it going anywhere once it's hooked it will stay there now let's see if the case affect the speaker quality on the apple earpods pro 2 case let's play that find my sound the speaker is still loud and clear and also I'm able to still see that LED light flash which is good when you're looking for your Apple Earpods Pro 2 in dark places. Now let's see if I can charge the Apple Earpods Pro 2 with the case on. I'm able to charge the Apple Earpods Pro 2 with the case on wirelessly. Alright guys so it seems like it doesn't work when it go on the Apple Watch charger so I place it on it and I'm not hearing a charge. And yes, the charger is working because if I place the Apple Watch charger on it, right away it charges. But for this right here, it doesn't charge on the Apple Watch charger. But I'm going to take off the case and see if it works. Here it is out of the case. So I'm going to put it on this right here. And right away it starts to charge like literally it's charging out of the case but I'm guessing it won't charge with this case on it will charge wirelessly on the wireless part but not on the Apple Watch charger it won't charge it with the case on so that's one thing to note and I'm also able to easily plug in my lightning cable to charge it if I want overall I think this is a very solid case for its price which is currently 24% off while I'm recording this video which brings it down to around $18 there's a link in the description if you want to check it out go ahead and check it out currently it only comes in matte black but I'm pretty sure Spigen will release more color options and design for the Apple Earpods Pro 2 I had to wait a week before I got this case because there were little to no case for the Apple Earpods Pro 2 that were being sold on Amazon. I also ordered a clear case from Spigen and a case from Caseology which will be arriving sometime in October or November so subscribe so you don't miss those videos. I would definitely recommend this case to everyone because it is so minimal and you're not missing out on any features while your earpods pro 2 is in the case you'll still be able to hear the speakers loud and clear see the led indicator charge your apple earpods pro 2 whether it be wirelessly or by wired and also use your lanyard loop you also most importantly get a better grip of the Apple Earpods Pro 2 case while you're holding it because it can get really slippery sometimes. That's pretty much it for this video guys. Check this video out where I talk more about the Apple Earpods Pro 2. Thanks for watching. Peace.